Hey, in this video we're going to talk workshop lighting and I'll show you the fixtures I used and the lighting levels that I accomplished using those fixtures and kind of the layout and maybe what I do a little bit different. So that's coming up right now. <music> I had my local wholesale electrical supply house do a, um, a lighting analysis for this space to see what kind of fixtures and how many I would need. And they recommended eight fixtures at 3,200 lumens uh, for my 10 foot high ceiling and with, a, with gray walls, gray ceiling. Um, to get, I think they figured it to be about 50 foot candles. So that's what I went with, um, except I did have a little bit of a hiccup. You can see I got that one little tiny round light up there. That's above the, above the loft. So that other one doesn't really count, but then I did add one underneath. You'll see that, how I did that there coming up. I'll show you these fixtures that I installed, the specs on them, um, and then I'll show you, I use the light meter at the end of the video uh, to see the actual lighting levels. Now, the recommendation for um, a workshop area is somewhere between 30 and 70 foot candles. And that is from the Architectural Toolbox website. Uh, I'll leave a link for that in the description. And also there's another one, the Engineering Toolbox, that also has some good information on lighting levels. So I'm in the process of installing these lights in the shop. And the ones I'm using are from Satco. They're a four foot LED light. Um, they're 40 watts, 3200 lumens each, and they're a 4000 Kelvin color temperature. So they're not real uh, blue or what they call cool white. They're kind of an in-between. Uh, normally I prefer like a warm white in, uh, you know, maybe in the house, in the living room, something like that, or the bedroom. But out here in the shop, I think a little bit, a little bit uh, whiter light would be better. So that's why I went with the 4,000 Calvins. So these fixtures are about 30 bucks a piece. And I'm putting seven of them here in the shop. And when we're done here, I'll show you how, how bright it gets. So I installed the uh, octagon boxes when I did my rough in and they fit just fine over top of an octagon box. But the, the screws I got here, the stock screws from the box, a little too short, the box sits, sits back just a little bit. So in the fixture box comes a little pack of hardware. So it comes with two longer 832 screws. So yeah, originally I was going to put one of these fixtures up there and then I built the loft and then that wouldn't have done any good. So what I did then instead was I dropped a fixture down under the loft right here and I just wired it up um, in the end of that fixture there. So they're all on the same switch. and. If we look at, let's say, a work surface, you know, I think it's pretty bright, but I'll double check this with the foot candle meter later. If I have to, like maybe over here in this corner, 
I'm going to have cabinets on this wall here, overhead cabinets. So I could put an under cabinet light there if need be. And then same thing down in that far corner, there'll be cabinets up there so I can put under cabinet light. But right here in the center is like where the table saw will be. And I think it's, I think it's got quite a bit of light. So probably more than I've ever really had in any of my other shops. So to me, it'll probably be plenty. All right, I got the Dreamly light meter here. Um, I'll take some readings in the shop to see how well the lighting is compared to uh, foot candles. So I'm gonna take these readings right at the bench top level. So I got almost 31. Now I'm in your shadow a little bit. Yeah. 32, 33. Over here towards the radial arm saw, I'm up to 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, I'm at about 33. Got this light here, putting out 68 foot candles. So I think the center of the shop's going to be very well lit. Um, we're still at 50 over here, so this is where I would wheel out the router table or the shaper. So I do, that's kind of between the lights, that's at still about 30. Now I do have those three spotlights up there, or those floodlights. And those are off. Those I put in mostly for filming purposes, but um, they could supplement the shop lighting too. So Ram, if you would turn that light switch on for me, let's see if it makes a difference. Candles. Overall, I'm really happy with the amount of lighting levels I got. Uh, 33 to 50 some, that's, that's pretty good. Um, the only thing is I, I think along my workbench along this wall here, I may desire a little bit more lighting there, especially over my radial arm saw when I'm trying to uh, cut, you know, real precise um, measurements there. So I might add a fixture right up here above the bench and just down there above the bench. Two more of these same type of fixtures and that'll make it really bright right there. Either that or possibly I'm going to have cabinets above the bench on each end. Um, I could put under cabinet lights there. But that doesn't really solve my problem of a little bit more lighting right above there. So. Um, more to come on that. I'll do another video later when I get the final lighting off completely finished. And then the other thing I wanted to point out is I do also have these three can lights I put in and they have um, a movable floodlight in them. I'll turn them on right here. So I did, I mostly did that for when I'm filming in here to add a little bit more light um, on me as I'm talking and filming and stuff like that. But they actually do help out too along that bench. So. So I think I'm going to wait and just kind of get the shop ready to go, start using it and see uh, how, how it works from there. And if I do need to add more, I'll add more. But I would like to do that before I insulate up there. Otherwise, it's going to get a little more difficult. So now would be the time to add them if I was going to add them before I insulate them. Hey, thanks for watching the video. If you want to see some more in this playlist, I'll put them right up here in this card. And a video that YouTube thinks you want to see is going to be down here. So. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, subscribe if you would too, please, thanks.